Hello, cookie lovers. It's me, Corey, from Sweet Notes Cookie Company. And yes, we are still shut down. And no, I am not sending out orders just yet. But I know you want something sweet, just like I do. And I'm gonna show you how to make something super, super easy. It's got four ingredients, and let me tell you, it is the most simple thing. I had never made one of these before. Some of you probably already do, and you already know about it. But I was like, oh, it's just too simple. It is delicious. It is delicious. It is a dump cake. If you've never had a dump cake, you are missing out. I thought, eh, it's too simple. I want to be fancy and go and get all the stuff and measure out my baking soda, my big, no, no, no. This is the easiest cake ever. It's super delicious. And not only that, it's easy. Oh, actually, we're gonna add another ingredient into this. But let me tell you, it's called a dump cake and you can use fruit and then you use cake mix. Yes, cake mix. Why do you have to go overboard and make a fancy cake when you can get one of these and they're delicious? Okay, so let me show you how to make it. It's super, super simple. And so you're going to need um, a can of cherry preserves, a can of crushed pineapple. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You're gonna need a cake mix. I'm gonna use this white cake mix. You can use yellow, that's fine. And then you need a stick and a half of butter. And then, oh, I need to go get some, grab some pecans. And so um, then we're gonna top that off. And so it's just layered, layered, layered. Oh, I hear somebody moving. You're gonna get me some pecans? There are people in the house because everybody has people in their house right now, but let's go ahead and make this cake. Super easy. Okay, so here's a can of, you don't look. Okay, Sam, so you're gonna need like a 13 by nine inch either a glass one or a metal one or whatever, but this is one that I like. And so you don't need to butter this or anything. So you get the can of cherries, yum, because we love cherries. And then you just dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it in here. All the stuff, all the goodness, you wanna get all that goop out here. I'm literally gonna make this cake. Thank you, sir. My friend, lovely assistant brought me some pecans. So there he is. Um, so, you're gonna dump this stuff in there, that whole can of uh, cherry pie filling. And I know cherry pie cherries are usually tart, but we're gonna sweeten this up with that pineapple. So I'm, gonna put, I'm, just, I'm just scraping it all because I want all that goop in there. So then we've got this in here, you can see, and then you're just gonna spread it out, spread it out, spread it out, spread it out, spread it out. Super easy, you're going to and what's nice about these new cans of fruit and stuff is that you don't even need a can opener. They have that lid that you can pull right off of there. So you see, I just spread it on the bottom. It doesn't quite cover the whole thing, but that's okay because we're gonna add some more stuff. So then we're going to get a can of crushed pineapple. And we're gonna do that as well, open that up. And so this stuff is really sweet. So it balances out the tartness of the pineapples and it's got juice in it you're gonna want that juice in there so you're not gonna wanna you don't have to drain it or anything because that juice is actually gonna help us um, it's gonna soak up that cake and it's gonna make it all bubbly and good and so we're gonna spread 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 this out and so now we just have a layer covering the bottom you can see I just have that pineapple and that cherry right there on top. now you guys, you're not gonna believe this. So easy. I know those of you who have done this before are gonna be like, yeah, I've known this all my life. My grandma used to make these, but I just, my grandma didn't. And I just learned in there, it's a cake mix. You don't have to prepare it. You don't have to nothing it. You just open it and you dump this there too. Now I can't go without taking an extra step because you don't need to do this extra step, but I, I'm a little bit cuckoo when it comes to this. So I'm going to actually sift this right over the top. And it's just the dry cake mix. You don't have to sift it. If you don't have a sifter, that's fine. But I like to do it just because, I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm being fancy or something. I don't know. Or maybe just got that extra little step because I've always learned that you always sift. Look, there's, see, there's like a little something in there. A little one in there, that's smart. Um, you always sift it to get a fluffier cake. This is all gonna get all gooey and goopy and nice and, you know, mixed up. So um, you don't have to do this extra step, but I like to do it. Now, this stuff is gonna sit right on top 
of the fruit. You do not need to mix it in or anything like that. You'll see how it turns out. This is the easiest. So then, like I said, if you don't wanna go that extra step, don't. So this is just a cake mix. You can use white cake mix. You can use um, a lemon cake mix. I'm gonna make another one. I've been wanting to do with blueberries. Mmm, blueberries. And lemon uh, cake mix. And, um, but somebody in this house really likes cherry. That little person's in this room right now, yes? Yeah. Yes, we love cherry. So see, I have all these little sugar granules. I'm gonna kinda get them to there, but eh, that's good enough. All right, so that's it. So then this is just that powder on top. And so I'm gonna kind of try to evenly spread that on top of my, okay, on top of that fruit. You don't need to mix it. You don't mix it. Remember, this is just kind of dumped one layer on top of the other layer. So there you go. You got that. It's all spread evenly in there. There, just kind of scooch it down. So then, you, like I said, you don't need to get eggs. You don't need to. What's nice about this is if you don't want to use dairy, then you don't have to worry about, oh, milk. But we're going to actually add butter. So forget what I just said about dairy. I guess, um, so, yeah, this is. All right, so that's on top of the fruit. Do, 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 and it's still it's still dry. But what we're going to do is you take a stick and a half. Now, some recipes say a stick, but why use a stick when you can use a stick and a half? So you take a stick and a half of butter and you want to slice it into like just pats, like pats of butter, right? And then you just lay them right on top. So you put all those pats of butter right on top of the, the cake mix. So I did not mix the cake mix in um, into it. It's just gonna sit right on top. So what's gonna happen is when this is in the oven, I've already preheated my oven to 350. This is gonna get all bubbly. Like some of the this butter obviously is going to melt and it's gonna soak down into the cake mix. And then the fruit under is gonna like bubble up and ugh, 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 so good. So that was half a stick and I still got a, a whole nother stick to go. So we're gonna put all of that and it should cover pretty much the whole top. They don't have to be right next to each other or you can just, but you don't wanna lay them on top of each other. Um, I've seen recipes that say to melt this butter and put it in there. I've seen it where you mix the, the butter and the uh, powder um, cake in a separate bowl, but I've tried that and it, it didn't come out too well. This actually, this is the original method that I've seen in the oldest recipes that I've been able to find and it works best. So, you know, trust that grandma that told you to just do it that way and not worry about it. So now I've got all my butter. I'll, I'll pick this up so you can see it. That's as easy as it is, guys, except we like one more thing in here. You can leave it like that. Um, like I said, I'm gonna do another one also with peaches. So I got some canned peaches. I, I was, I was, uh, I found another recipe that said use canned peaches in syrup, and then it's that juice is gonna kind of help um, bubble up in there because you need do need some liquid. You don't want to use like too much too much thickness. So you don't want to use two two of these pie things. You want to add a little bit. Of it. So look, you can see right there that that's on top, and that's it. Except. We like pecans. So one more thing we're gonna add on top because it's kind of, this is a this is definitely a mushy cake. This is not a cake. You're gonna be able to slice and serve all pretty. You're gonna scoop this out when it's ready, you'll see. And then you put some, it, I've seen recipes that say use whipped cream. Ice cream's the way to go. You're gonna wanna scoop this stuff out, put some ice cream on there and ugh, delicious, right Sal? Yes, he said, mm-hmm, in case you didn't hear him. So we like pecans. You can toast these or not, whatever. I don't wanna go through the extra steps, so I'm just gonna top this off with sprinkles and pecans on it. That is it, guys. That is how you make this cake. And then you're gonna pop this into an oven 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. Uh, it sometimes, it takes up to an hour. It really depends on your oven and it depends on uh, it, whether it's metal or glass or something like that. So after 45 minutes, you want to check it and uh, you'll be able to see when the cake is kind of 
uh, it's still gonna be bubbly. You don't want it to be completely dry, but um, we'll check back in a little bit. But look, this is what it looks like. Yum, 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 that's it. So now it goes into the oven for 45 minutes and then we will see what it looks like. Okie doke, okie doke, okie doke. See you in a little bit. Hello, oh, cookie lovers, look. It's been 45 minutes and it's bubbly and lovely and yummy, but it needs to be a little more brown in the center. So I'm gonna pop it back in there for about, I don't know, 10 more minutes and then check it again, but it smells delicious in this house. Okay, this is the color you want. Some of it is a little bit, a little bit lighter because of the butter and then some of it is golden brown and it's still bubbling and yummy, yummy, yummy smells so good. So I'm gonna let that cool down a little while we have dinner and then we're gonna scoop it and put some ice cream on it and have that for dessert. I can't wait. It's delicious. But it's still bubbly. So good.